Hey everybody, welcome to Touch Music. Um, this channel is going to be uh, about a series of uh, anything to do with uh, pretty well hands-on music, anything that's practical, hence Touch Music. Um, if uh, people have questions, comments, or anything after videos, just leave them in the comments and stuff, and please relay them to the videos. But anyways, let's get started. Um, okay, what, what I'm going to teach you here, which is compared to most guys out there I see on YouTube, is uh, what I find is the teachings out there, they, they're, <laughs> they're, they're like, it's like going from white belt and then you're going to like a black belt, then to purple belt, to brown, to yellow, back to white maybe a black in there again. He just keeps, you know, randomly going to what levels of things there are, which, believe me, isn't going to be beneficial for you since um, I've gone through every practical trial and error I think there is with learning a guitar because I had to do uh, really uh, most of it on my own. So I've made a lot of mistakes on what not to do and you'll definitely benefit from that but the problem is is that you got to take the time to learn what not to do and I'm here to kind of shortcut that for you so you don't have to go through all the trials and errors I did because I kind of kicked myself in the butt because um you know I went from learning uh you know like oh how do I play this song and then I learned a few chords the G's and D's and then all of a sudden I'm playing tunes I'm like yeah rocking right on but you know what I realized later in life that's as far as I got because I wasn't doing things properly or even proper fingerings with guitar. I mean, the best thing I can tell you about guitar it, in, in, in how to get your best technique and, and play fast and whatever is, what is the shortest way to pick a note to make it sound? You need to think like that all the time when you're playing guitar. People will call it economy picking, um, whatever. You, you can call it whatever you want, but that's one thing I do when I'm learning because um, I, I do a lot of cover songs with guys that I play and stuff, but um, some of these songs I've never touched in my life. And uh, so when I go in here and I go to learn, I'm like, oh my God, here I'm doing, I'm doing some licks that I'm not used to, like some fingering style fast licks because... I don't I didn't play that style before whatever it doesn't mean I can't do with practice because believe me you can do anything with practice trust me at that so anyways but uh, what thing I learned was I can't do this I can't do this I can't do this and, I, and I'm sitting there what the fuck how's this guy doing this you know it's kind of like um, you know like people try to do sweet picking and all that too and I mean that's uh, that has its moments too of trying to learn trust me it's that that's not freaking easy either. That's probably the hardest technique. But sweet picking, um, I don't know. I, in in ninety percent of cases, doesn't have its part in music really anywhere. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool sounding, definitely cool sounding. But um, it's probably more like a metal, you know, metal, uh, neo metal, classic, whatever music type stuff that really involves that. So. Um, but we'll get into that later on in the lessons. But that, that's probably going to end up being the last, more or less, last technique lesson of this series because uh, it's suit picking is not um, it's not easy, and it took me even a while to do it. I'm still not as fast as I want to be, so kind of sucks. <laughs> it's practice, practice. And okay, so um, anyways, let's not worry about um, a metronome either or anything like that right now. Okay, so just remember, just think about how to get the shortest route to the note I need to pick. Just think along that lines all the time when you're playing. So um, let's begin. So sorry about the rant, but um, I just figured a little bit of knowledge about me and uh, about things you can know anyways and uh, keep in mind. So anyways, let's begin. All we're going to do is, and I'm going to assume that you know how to uh, tune a guitar already, by the way, too, here. So if not, I'll do a video on tuning, but I'm going to... Uh, presume for most people they've gotten to the point there's lots of videos on tuning I'll let other guys take those honors uh, with their videos if they want but if people really want me to do a tuning video I can but uh, anyways it doesn't matter if the guitars in tune for this lesson anyways because uh, it's nothing about sounding of notes right now right now it's just gonna be about our hand dexterity the thing the thing you need to do is is the pick and you can see um, 
I uh, I hold my pick sometimes with my finger straight down. Sometimes I bring my here. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of weird when I'm looking at the monitor. But anyways, so it's kind of like that. So anyways, I don't know if you can see it, but a lot of guys hold their picks different. So it all depends on what you want to do. You know what I mean? Sorry, maybe a little too much shadow or some darkness there. But the point is, is just have a little bit of a tip. You can hold your finger straight down. You can uh, you can bring it you can bring it in like that, down, up. It does doesn't really matter. Just have a little bit of the point, and don't worry about if you're leaning this way, leaning that way. You're straight on plush. You should be plush, but don't worry about it for now, because here's the thing: the point is always at the point. Doesn't matter if your pick's leaning, if you're straight down, the point's always resting at the point, okay? So, but anyways, let's get to the point of this lesson. So, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one of these. Just get used to, uh, just get used to feel your pick. And another thing is with picks, you might wanna try a whole bunch of different picks to see which ones you like. Um, a lot of guys like thick picks, like Jazz 3s or something. A lot of guys like thinner picks. It all depends on what you're doing. So we just want to get used, just get, just get used to it. Anyway, so then once you get used to the feel of it, and you want to try to do little strokes as possible. Don't do not do like big, you know, picks. Kind of, like I remember what I said, the shortest route to get in the sound, right? So like that. So um, let's begin. So all we're going to do is, you can do that. We're going to start with an upstroke, downstroke, whichever you like. It does not matter for now with this lesson. So we're just going to go, I'm going up. And then I'm going down, up, down, up. And that's all we're doing. We're walking it. And then we're going to walk back down. And you see how my fingers, when I'm doing this, they all stay on the frets as I go from one to the other. I never leave, lift off the fret. And that's important that you learn it like this. With your hands down. and so forth. So because then eventually you just will kind of want to go to and go faster. You know what I mean? So that's it. That's the lesson. So <laughs> all of this lesson was more of me gabbing than actually showing you. But the point was I, I need you to know some little things in there to keep in mind. It's very important. So but remember, so just down, up, down, up, up, down, whatever, which way you want to do it. And what I advise you is don't be doing the downstrokes because everybody gets used to doing downstrokes. And, and believe me, I was for a long time. I think uh, James Hetfield Metallica does all downstroke, and he's, he's one guy I'm pretty sure that does. But um, I, I find it weird just to do downstroking now. At one time it was habit, and now I can't even do it. It, it, it. it kills me. It feels weird to me to do it. So I'm always alternate picking up and down, or I'm economy picking, whatever I'm doing, you know. Uh, uh, Oh, my guitar is way out of tune right now. That's out of tune. But the point is, is when I do that little lick there, it uh, I'm doing economy picking. I'm actually kind of alternating here, but then, you know what I mean? I'm going with, I'm going in the direction, basically, of where my next note's going to be for the most part. Not all the time, but for the most part. But anyways, so uh, this is Touch Music. And remember, uh, just sit here doing this stuff. Watch TV, whatever. Watch this video and do it. <laughs> so anyways, that's it, people. Remember, up and down. Keep your hands on the fingers. And if you feel brave, once you're going, oh, man, this is boring, you know. How the hell? This is, I'm not going to learn anything like this. No, you are going to learn. Because believe me, try doing that for two minutes. So now you got a lead player. So look at these guys that are playing, like there's guys that play concertos on guitar type things out there that are like six minutes long stuff. So try, just try doing that. Even try just doing this for two minutes. This, this is the stuff if you master, everything that comes along after is gonna be a snap for you. Believe me, trust me at that. Once I actually sat down and thought, oh, what the hell, I'm gonna sit here and Try to learn this right like I should have in the first place. I was amazed, amazed at how dumb and asinine I was being back when, when I could have just done this a long time ago and it improved my playing hugely. Like two, three hundred percent, man, in one year's time, just, just for doing these little things. And um, you'll probably hear a lot of people tell you, but it's true. 
And um, the hand stretching thing, absolutely important too. Warm your hand up a bit before you're going to do so, a lot of playing and stuff. You know, the stretches with the fingers, whatever. You know, whatever how you feel you want to warm your hand up with stretches. There's lots of uh, information on that out there. So remember people, just hands down. That's it. So I know it's not much of a lesson, but uh, this is what you have to learn first. And you just sit there now. Just sit there every day. Pick it up. Pick it up whenever you're bored watching TV and just keep doing that. And if you feel brave, like I said, jump up to another string and do it. And do it on all the strings up and down. And uh, once you get fluid with that, when you're hearing fluid, you're, you're going to start hearing fluid notes. And you're going to be, oh my God, look what I can do now. And the thumb, I better tell you now because I'll probably get asked questions about that now that I think about it. I don't care what my opinion anyways, I don't care what anybody says out there where your thumb should be, your thumb is going to go everywhere on the guitar. It's going to go here when I bend, it's going to go here when I'm doing other little things here, maybe fast little things, it's definitely going to come over when I reach over here, you know, all sorts of stuff, right? So don't worry about the thumb for now, just feel comfortable what it is that's making you do this with ease there should be no tension and relax because believe me that relaxing thing is very important that's one thing i have or had a hard time doing was i was always oh, doing one of those type things but even sometimes i still do when i'm learning uh cover song solo i get I start getting freaking tense because i'm getting frustrated and that's when i just got to stop take a break for a moment come back okay so um those are my words of wisdom for this lesson. I know it's not much, like I said earlier there, but um, don't hate me for it. I'm just trying to give you the basics. We're going to start off right from the start so you know how to uh, play and get better with dexterity and skill. Okay? So uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, I guess, if you want to see more lessons that follow through or else you're going to have to remember to come back, I guess. Um, so my name's Ian, and uh, thank you for uh, watching me at touch music <laughs> and i'll see you guys i guess in the next video oh by the way speaking of that um i guess it doesn't really show it now but it's probably because of the light we're not going to be able to tell but your 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 fingers are definitely going to get all yucky and stuff like that don't worry about it it's 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 going to hurt at first. You're going to have stingy fingers and stuff like that. I've actually played until my fingers have bled before, but that's because I sit there practicing literally like 8, 12 hours a day, like with breaks in between type thing. Like, I know it's that's daunting, but uh, you have to if you want to get good. The